In this topic, you will learn how to generate stock count sessions. Now to begin, a stock count session is used to select the products and or locations to count and to simultaneously generate several stock count lists for a given request. The purpose is to allow you to divide the work between different stock controllers carrying out the count. Now a stock count session involves a single site and can have one of the following statuses. In creation, this means the stock count list for the session has not been generated. To be counted, the stock count lists have been generated, but they have not yet been the object of a count or only have been partially counted. And closed, all the stock count lists for the session have been closed. This occurs when all the counts have been made and the stock count variance movements have been posted. You also determine the count type. This impacts options available for creating the stock count list. If product type is selected, all your selection criteria is available. If location type is selected, you can create the list based on location type, location, business partner, and a formula. Now you also determine the count mode, which determines on what basis the selection of the product counted is made. There's manual. That's the selection of products which gives you additional options including selections by category and buyer. Cycle counting, which is according to the product site record. Or annual count, which also is according to product site record. Now you also determine the number of count sheets by selecting maximum lines and number of items per page. And finally, you generate the count session. But prior to generating the count session, you can run a simulation to calculate the number of lists and the stock count lines per list to generate, also the number of products to count, and the total number of stock lines associated with the inventory session created. Now, once you're satisfied with the simulation results, you can generate the actual stock count list. And now, at this point, you cannot modify information for the worksheets created. However, you can delete a list by clicking on the Delete List button. Now let's take a look at generating a stock count session. At one of your sites, you decide to do a complete physical count. To set up your session, you go to the Stock module, and then the counts block and the stock count sessions function. At the function to create the session, you click new and then you enter the storage site. The sessions field is a document number field that's generated on creation. Where the cursor is blinking now is the reference field where you required to enter a description. And as you can see, the session is in creation. On the parameter definition tab, the stock count type will be product. The processing selection will select our annual stock. And in the sort order, we'll do product location. Processing will make it global. This gives us options as far as selecting the products. We only want to include products that actually have stock, so we'll uncheck the products without stock. The number of count sheet, the maximum lines we would like per sheet will be five products per, and we'll select the percentage limit at 90%. What this does is gives us space on those sheets to be able to enter descriptions, notes, and maybe to enter products that are maybe possibly not in stock. We'll also go with multi lists. We would like to have many lists because we have several different stock count employees that will be doing the count. As far as the class selected for each of the products, we'll go with all the classes as far as the class ABCD section. Next we have the selections tab where we can select a inner formula for selecting a product. We can select a range. It can be by category, buyer, or groups that you've actually set up could be by statistical group. If we select it by location, 
we would actually be able to have the use the stock section and the location section and because this site is not warehouse managed the warehouse area is not available now we want to do a complete count a complete uh, stock count at that location so we're not going to enter a selection range and next you you create on creation you can see the document number has been generated now as mentioned earlier you can go ahead in the right panel here and generate the stock count worksheets or you can do a simulation simulation basically again as we mentioned earlier just shows you what will be generated as you can see here it says there will be 14 lists 39 products and 55 stock lines 55 stock count lines and that looks good so you click OK and then we generate on generation you can see the parameter definition tab is now grayed out so you can't make any changes on the selections tab you can see that's grayed out as well so you can't make any selections now our generation creates our lists as you can see here multiple different lists now the multiple different lists includes the session numbers, the count status, which says is to be counted, as you can see the status here as well. Lock stock, which basically means that you cannot enter transactions to move any stock when it's locked. Who created it? It has our title, our reference details, and the date of the status, and the date it was created, as well as allocation date. Now here you can also select the action icon which gives you one the pop-up view the form view. You can unlock this particular stock count worksheet to unlock the products associated with it. You can view the count lists which actually takes you into the area in which you want to modify or enter your results. But you can also view the list which we'll do. So you can see the products that are on the list and the location of those products, the status, and other details. Now, if you decide these are not the required list that you wanted, you can actually go to the right panel and click on the delete list to start again because you cannot modify it as you see. And finally, the next thing you want to do is after doing your count, you can enter results. You can actually get to the area in which to enter your results from this area here by just clicking on the count list. The count list brings up the entry transaction, the data entry screen, and we'll go ahead and select full. And this basically shows you where all of the count lists appear so you can actually go here and enter your results. And now you know how to generate a stock count session.